You were asking me earlier about, you know, the kind of this pattern change that's happened here and things have been, you know, calmer more recently and kind of looking ahead over the most of the rest of the upcoming week compared to where we were, you know, a couple of weeks ago and through kind of the second half of March and even in the early part of April. And the, one of the big reasons for that is we have high pressure now well out to our west. Big old ridge of high pressure over kind of the, the Rockies and the western portion of the U.S. finally giving them a break. That would include California as well from the rounds of rain and snow and things like that. The problem is, is they're warming on up, so a lot of that will start to melt, finally getting into a more typical spring-like pattern for them. Of course, you don't want it to melt too fast in those regions because then you, what you turn, you know, all the beneficial rain and snow that fell, then it turns into a pretty major flooding problem. So we'll keep our eyes on that for that part of the country. That high pressure is going to kind of drift overhead nearby, maybe move a little off to our northeast through the upcoming week. So we're going to stay quiet for the time being, but we do start to get another trough of low pressure out to our west northwest as we head into that late week time frame. It's going to bring us another cold front and maybe a chance for some showers and storms as we head into the weekend. We'll talk more about that coming up. In the meantime, one of the nice things about the pattern is it's been pretty dry out. You know, dew point, the true measure of moisture in the air. The higher the dew point, the muggier and gross it feels outside. But look at through the upcoming week. Those dew points stay in the 50s and anything below 60 is pretty comfy, especially for North Texas. And that's why, you know, even though we've been warm the last several afternoons, it's felt really nice outside. There are some showers and storms across uh, southwestern portions of North Texas, kind of moving out of Eastland County into the far western portion of Comanche County there. All that activity will keep drifting on to the south. We do have a round of thunderstorms up in kind of central Oklahoma. That activity will be kind of drifting down, potentially may cross the Red River as some weakening showers and storms late tonight, but the severe weather threat, it's up in Oklahoma. Not worried about any of that activity being severe as it moves into North Texas. It'll be weakening and just kind of a dying or decaying thunderstorm, maybe between 10 o'clock and midnight tonight for potentially the Bowie area, maybe the Graham area overnight tonight. But by tomorrow morning, nothing's going on and we will stay dry as we head through the remainder, most of the remainder of the week. Temperatures tomorrow morning, similar to what they've been the last several mornings, upper 40s, Maybe in a couple locations, but most places probably in the low to mid 50s as you start your Tuesday. Tuesday afternoon, a degree or two warmer than today, but pretty much right around normal for this time of the year. Normal high is 75 and about 75 to 76 from Dallas to Fort Worth tomorrow afternoon. We're dry as we head through the day tomorrow. We're dry Wednesday. We're dry Thursday. Nothing's going on, but by the time we head into that late week time frame, we'll be watching a dry line out to our west. That one may move into North Texas as we head into Friday. So we'll be, it might be one of those days where we're going to have a strong cap in place. Not impossible for maybe a thunderstorm to try and form late afternoon into the evening on Friday. That's what we'll be watching, but right now it's a low chance, low coverage of anything going on on Friday. Then a front will move in as we head through the kind of morning hours on Saturday. May not have a whole lot of moisture to work with. Right now my rain coverage is only about 20% as we head through the morning on Saturday. So we'll keep our eyes on that for you as we get closer. In the meantime, light winds and cool tonight, 55 for the low and are partly cloudy skies. And then tomorrow that low humidity will continue. Pretty seasonable day, a high of 76. That's only one degree above normal for this time of the year. Back up to 80 or above by Thursday and into Friday. But then that front moves in like we talked about. There could be a few showers or storms uh, around with that as it moves in. So we'll keep a 20% coverage there Friday and into Saturday and then kind of the second half of the weekend. Sunday's looking a little cooler and we start to warm back up uh, that following with maybe some storm chances by that middle part of the following week. Looks like a nice week ahead. It really, it really will be, especially with that low humidity, because I mean, like we were talking about earlier, a lot of times when we do start warming up, that south wind really gets going and all of a sudden you walk outside and it's just sticky and gross. And I mean, most of the week doesn't look like that. It looks pretty comfortable. I say we're going to be thankful for this when you know a couple of months. Yeah, from now you know, when July around. and August yeah. get here, and remember this week. We'll Just be remember hating this life, week. and it'll be fine. Close your eyes real tightly and remember it. Thanks, Kyle.